Good evening. Residents of two different apartment complexes in Mount Washington breathing a little easier yeah. tonight because the raw sewage flowing in between them for possibly as long as a year is stuck. We first told you about the problem last night at 11 o'clock, and today city crews prowled through the area searching for a solution. Local 12's Rich Jaffe is there now just off Salvador Street for the story you will only see on Local 12. Rich? Brad, make no mistake about it. This area still stinks, but it is definitely getting better. The problem spot is just inside the tree line there. That's where the sewer line broke. And as you can see, this immediate area is a place where kids play. It's just about the only play ground spot that they've got around here. City health officials got the first complaint on the stink here on August 18th, and they wrote orders to fix it the same day. Our crew was here last night put the problem on TV, and the fixes got started this morning. Before you ever get to the creek, the smell is overpowering. When you see the thick black sewage sludge in the creek bed, you know why. For people who live around here, it's been horrible. I'm so upset that my son plays back here. Last night, we showed you the broken sewer pipe coming out of the Whispering Pines apartments. Early Friday morning, that fractured pipe was fixed. The call for help came from Mark Ward. He lives downhill from here. You know, every once in a while you catch a whiff of something. And then it disappeared in the winter, of course, because of the freezing. And then this spring we started smelling it and it just got worse and worse until finally I went down to the creek and followed it up and found this. Today, City Health Department sanitarians came out to see what else needed to be done. They were joined by two MSD workers. They investigated, calculated, and formulated a plan. The health department officials wrote orders that the creek will have to be cleaned up one way or another. City plumbers are writing orders that this repaired pipe will have to be buried, which means pulling permits and city supervision. After determining that all of the pipes involved are privately owned, the MSD guys hooked up a fire hose and began trying to flush the sewage out of the area. All of the agencies, plus the EPA, promise they'll pay close attention to the project to make sure it's done correctly all of which is good news for residents and property owners. You know, I'm surprised that it would take so long to get an active sewage leak over a moving body of water fixed, but um, as soon as we called you, suddenly everything happened very quickly, which I'm very happy with. Now, everybody I talked to, as you heard, was saying that this stink started as much as a year ago. So. Why did it take so long for somebody to call the city and get something done? That call didn't come in until the 18th. That's last Tuesday. So the lesson here is an easy one. If something needs to be fixed, pick up the phone, call somebody. Call Local 12 in Mount Washington. Rich Jaffe. Oh, looks like a touchdown to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, Brad, back to you. He dropped oh, the ball, Rich, which you did not do. Thanks very much. The biggest concern for city officials today, making sure that the flowing raw sewage was stopped. Inspectors from various departments will probably be out there early next week to look at some additional remedies. Since all the problems appear to be on a private property, the responsibility to fix those things fall to the owners of Whispering Pines. That's the BRG Realty Group.